One of the co-sponsors of our program this morning is the Universal Peace Federation. And our, our speaker this morning comes all the way from New York, and he's going to talk about peace. We hear peace all the time, right? Peace, peace, peace. Everybody agrees with it, but how do we do it? How do we do it? And um, the Universal Peace Federation has five main principles that it stands upon and works upon and, and interrelates with others based on this. And the, the common principle, one, the key, number one universal principle, is we are one human family centered upon one creator, God. Would you all agree with that? There's one creator. It's not like three or four creators. I said, well, I'm going to make the universe. No, 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 I'm going to do it. Hey, you know, there's one God. There's one God. And so somehow, and the astronauts get a good look at this, by the way. We see all the busy and the wars and this and that. But when the astronauts go to, go to the moon or wherever they're going to go, they look down and they see this thing and all this dark space around it. And it's like we are really just on one little ball floating in space. We're really designed to be a human family, breathing the same air, eating from uh, the same uh, resources of the earth. So that recognition is important because we can forget about it when we're doing our busy lives, OK? But there's one God created uh, one human family. And the second point is the highest qualities of, human, of a human being are the spiritual, uh, are, are spiritual and moral in nature. It's our internal self. Our body's going to come and our body's going to go from dust to dust. But who is that person that's growing inside? that's going to last beyond the material that holds us together, that spiritual part. And, and, and I love this one, and this is what, what Father and Mother Moon have preached a lot on, is the family is the school of love and peace. The family is designed to be the mini-universe, the micro-universe, for us to learn how to love, how to receive love, how to share love, how to be in love, and how to parental give love. And from out of the house... Then we go to our neighbors, and we go to the school friends, and we go to everybody else. But everything we learn about love is right in the family, the most important education. So the family is designed to be the school of love and peace. And number four principle is living for the sake of others is the way to reconcile the divided human family. Even though I have my singular body, it's when I relate with you that we cross over beyond my body and we begin to interrelate like a big fabric of humanity. Like you, you all look this morning so beautiful. You have your individual body, but we're one group, we're one people, one family. And so that's how we live for the sake of others, get beyond just living for the sake of myself. And the final one, and really the theme of our topic this morning, our guest speaker is going to speak on, is peace comes through cooperation beyond the boundaries of ethnicity, religion, and nationality. And I'll read further. That lasting peace cannot be achieved through political compromise alone, but requires addressing the root causes of conflict. Transcending racial, religious, ethnic barriers is an imperative of our time, for sure. And faith can give people the power, faith in God, faith in divine principles can give people the power to forgive and the love to overcome even generations of hatred, resentment, and violence. Otherwise, there's no power to forgive and move forward, unless God is the center of us all, and we can overcome the resentments and the hurts that we have, and reach out, even to the one that, that hurt us, because they've been hurt as well. So these are the five main principles, and our speaker this morning, really, really thrilled to have him here.